try! Okay, back in the wall of this fold, I think yeah. a bit of an injury How is it first of all being back in the Oh, it's been really good, mate. Um, obviously, after the win against the All Blacks uh, on the weekend, like it's a really good mood around the joint. Even prior to that, uh, the week before on the Gold Coast, like really feel the belief amongst the group, um, especially what they've built over the last sort of six weeks. Um, you know, it's just really good to be back involved. Now this weekend, there's the opportunity to play the Bar Bars match if you're selected. How yeah. great is it to have another match to prove uh, what you can offer ahead of the Spring Tour? Yeah, it's obviously every opportunity you get is an opportunity to obviously um, show your skills. Um, so if that case, you know, if the opportunity comes to me this weekend, I'll definitely be going out there and, um, you know, doing my best. But, you know, we're really just obviously looking forward to um, a few of us guys that haven't had a run um, recently just to have a game. So hopefully the opportunity comes along. And with spring tour coming up, it's no uh, secret that number 10 is a position where the world is still trying to find a few options and mm. we're busy taking a break. What opportunities can you see yourself uh, being given on spring tour? We're busy not being there playing 15. Playing yeah. I definitely obviously play 15 um, up in Queensland for the Reds, so I'm pretty familiar with that position. Uh, you know, play 12 uh, in the June series, so you know I've got a, a few positions that I can play uh, that I'm suited to. So, you know, obviously, um, you know, checking the coaches to make the call on who plays where. It's just up to us players to put our best foot forward and obviously put a hand up to be selected. Since you've come back to rugby, you've played in a few positions. Do you mm. have a personal favourite as well? Uh, oh. A blend of both 12 and 15 is uh, what I enjoy. Obviously, I play that kind of role up in uh, Queensland where I'm attacking sort of in the wider channels or sort of looking for space as a 15, but also get to um, do what I enjoy most, and that's defending in the front line. But look, we'll have to see um, obviously what Czech wants of me uh, moving forward this week, first and foremost, and then if possible on the tour. But you know, those discussions will happen in the near future. What's it going to be like, you think, facing up against some Reds teammates? In the yeah. Yeah. It will be different. Uh, obviously, we you know oppose that training, but it's never a physical uh, contest, so to speak. Not a proper rugby match. Uh, so to come up against the likes of Quaid, uh, as you mentioned, Nella. Uh, I think Eto's playing. Andrew Reddy. Uh, you know, a few of the guys that we really uh, know quite well. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, there'll be a few barbs, um, sort of verbal barbs, uh, been flying back and forth. But that's all going to be part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. How do you see these young players developing in games like this? Yeah, literally. What can they take from Oh, I mean, the first and foremost is the preparation uh, that you sort of get done throughout the week. I think, um, you know, you learn what's expected of you from the coaches in terms of reviewing footage, uh, turning up to meetings, uh, understanding the dialogue, making sure that training is of a high quality. So as a young player coming in, you, um, you get to understand that first and foremost before you play a game. And then obviously um, you go out there and just do your best and you learn what's expected of you out on the field in the gold jersey. Yeah, no, definitely looking forward to it. Um, been in the camp for a while, in and out with injuries, so to uh, get some game time is going to be uh, pretty awesome, and it'll be a good matchup. So. Yeah, I think it's been a huge learning curve. Like every day, I'm learning something new, which is uh, the great thing about being here in camp. And uh, you know. <laughs> so was that again? Yeah, so it's been awesome. I think uh, learning off uh, not just the coaches, but uh, also some of the players too, like uh, Sakobi Kipu and uh, Scotty Seo and Alan and the rest of the props. I think it's uh, huge learning, you know, not just from the coaches, but from players as well, which has been uh, a huge help. And uh, you recently um, been announced to play for the Rebels next year. Does that give you... Um, yeah, definitely. I think the whole year throughout the season, we didn't know whether the force was going to be here or not, so that was a bit of a weight on the shoulders. But to um, know that I'm signed with Melbourne now, I'm look, really looking forward to joining them and uh, what's uh, got planned for them next year, so that'll be awesome. But uh, yeah, it's good just to focus on my rugby now and uh, do what I love, which is play rugby. So. Position now is starting to look really competitive and we have a lot of 
that how you're finding that sort of competitive aspect uh, training? Yeah, no, I love it. I think it's uh, the best thing, you know, having uh, guys all around you that are, you know, top quality props, you know, just trying to uh, be the best prop every day pretty much. Having them really drives you to be be the best you can be. So I think uh, it's a really good thing for Australia and uh, it's only going to get better with more props. So.